Right, here's a video of my half quarter fluorescent tubes. These are made by Sylvania, and the white bit is colour rate 40. Right, let's have a look. The fitting's not really anything special, it's just when you turn the switch start. Uh, two little starters up the top. There's the cathode in the T12. Nice cathode there. The emitter on. Stick cathode. T8 has a rather thick shield on, which will explain why Sylvania tubes always have a thick uh, shadow on the phosphor when lit. There's the cathode in it though. Stick cathode as well. Looks a bit tougher than the T12's cathode actually. the back. Yep. And the other end. There's a cathode shield on the Sylvania look and the thin one. I mean the T1. There's the bit where you can't really see much down the tube. Well, that one. Start them up. Also, in this video as well, I'll see how they perform on pulse starter. Let's have a quick look at them while lit. There's the odd spot in the T12 near the bottom of the cathode, about three quarters of the way down. Now watch for the blue bit that comes on one of the cathode legs while the starter's closing. Well, typical didn't do it this time. Oh, there we are. See what the tape does. I right, can see it at the end now, look. You can't really in that one, though. Right, we'll get a couple of pulse starters. If I can find any. <clears throat> oh, there's one. Oh, there's another. Let's see how these perform on pulse starters. Oh, that's right. Let's see the T12 on a pulse starter. This one, uh, this one is on a tube saver TS8 electronic pulse starter. And this one is on, well, it's not the correct pull starter, but it's a Arlen EFS120 pull starter. The only reason it's on this pull starter, let's focus it before I do it properly, is because it's the only starter I could grab. Because I, only, I could only find two. Not really much, you can't see much, let's leave it for a, bit, a couple of bits. There, you can see the cupboard light there. Thanks for watching.